Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Got the Mariner. The video record the rest of it and putting it back together. But I'll be honest, guys, man, it just got hectic here. I had like five cars here all at one time. People coming and people stopping in. And but as you could tell, I got it all back together. Got the alternator in. Boy, what a chore that was. Way down in there. I had to bring it out through the back, right through there. You got to take the intake off everything. It's just, it's an absolute nightmare. Unless you drop the K-member. You drop the K-member or K-frame. But it's just as much work. No matter what, you're talking work. This garage quoted $800. I figure four. But for this guy, I know him personally. All my life, I'm doing it for less than that. So I'm going to do him a favor. But, as usual, it's a Ford. It's a Ford. Ran into problems. Like every other Ford that you see the videos on on the internet, you put a new alternator on it, and you start it up, and the battery light's on. Well, I checked it. Checked it at the battery. Alternator's charging fine. And there's a bunch of garbage behind it about the voltage regulator. They made different voltage regulators for this. And a lot of people saying it's a field wire gun from the voltage regulator up to the uh, computer. That it's, it's, it's looking for a certain signal from the alternator saying that it's charging. It ain't getting it, so it's throwing on the battery light. And uh, it's probably the wrong voltage regulator, blah, blah, blah. The battery light's on, but it's charging. Took the positive terminal off and it stayed running, but on these you can't you can't always go by that because these have the smart charging systems in them, which is Ford's way of saying, hey, we're going to put something that's even a bigger piece of crap and something that's already a piece of crap, and we're going to charge you double for it, and then you ain't going to have your average Joe's going to be able to work on it. You're going to have to bring it to us, and that's what it is, but... Oh, no, I went through everything, checked all the wiring. Wiring's all good. We're getting signal. Uh, it's, it's charging. It's a 14.3 volts. Um, it's showing it's charging. It's just that the battery light's on, which I'll show you. Now, it takes about 15, 20 seconds for it to come on. And you can see now it's at 12.5, but the alternator kicks on, boom, there it goes. 14.3, 14.1, 13.8. It's charging. Now I'll hook my voltmeter up to the battery to make sure. And I also ran test leads out of the back of the alternator. And it is putting out 14.3 volts. But you will see the battery light will come on. There it is. Come on. Now. For all you guys out there that don't know how to fix this, you can either A, ignore it, which is what I would do, as long as it's charging, I don't give a crap if the light's on, or B, I'm going to show you a very quick and simple, easy way to fix that. And here we go, right here. I'm going to show you right here. Here we go. Black tape. Piece of black tape over it. There you go. Can't see it no more. Don't have to worry about that alternator light on. Or that battery light on. It's charging fine. See, there ain't nothing wrong with the system. It's fine. There you go, guys. Quick, cheap, in the, in the inexpensive fix. That's how you do it. And then you don't have to worry about it. Um, by, what, by the research I've done... Um, these systems, they look for a certain amount of voltage at a certain time frame, at a certain rate. That's what they're looking for. And if the voltage regulator ain't putting it out, it sends that signal back to the ECU, and the ECU automatically, boom, throws the, the um, battery light. It says that there's something wrong with the system, which technically there's not. It's charging. Everything's working good. It just might, might not be seeing a signal fast enough or, or seeing a signal that it wants. So it senses, hey, there's something wrong with the system and it throws the battery light on. 
So, there's one of three fixes. Either A, run it like it is. B, try another alternator. Because you can't change the voltage regulator. They're internal. <clears throat> I would, but the simple reason, once I take the bolt out of that alternator, you can you could take them out once you take the alternator apart. But then as soon as that bolt's off, the, the warranty's void. And I'm not doing that. It ain't my vehicle. If it was my vehicle, that's probably what I would do and try it. But it's not my vehicle, and I ain't voiding his warranty. Or three, go to Ford and get the regular motorcraft alternator that this vehicle calls for, and they're six hundred dollars. Guy ain't got that kind of money. So I told him to run it as long as it's charging. It's fine. If it stops charging, we'll deal with it from there. But that's all. Just want to do a quick video. It's all back together. It's all done. It's mint. It's a mini prick. It's a minty prick. Yep. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.